Beyonce. I'm only going to show you this once. And after this, I'm not going to show it again. You're going to have to do it yourself and see if you can manage it, right? Okay. Watch me. Watch me closely. Watch. Hey, girl. How are you guys doing? My name is Simply Vulcan, and in this video, I'm actually going to be talking about the popular, or at least I think it's a fairly popular, spell, freezer, spell, curse, jar, freezer, curse, jar, spell, freezer, freezer, jar, spell. I don't know if there's like an official name for it, but I feel like it's a fairly known spell, fairly popular spell, because one, it's a very simplistic a uh, curse or spell to do and two it's just one of the because of the simplicity of it it's usually one of the more common spells or curses that someone will dip their toes in and start that's like their introductory curse if you will call it a curse i guess it is technically a curse what would you define as a curse and what would you define as a spell i guess yeah, i would define it as a curse if it because let me just stop myself before i get on a tangent but yes the freezer curse jar spell i wanted to talk about it a little bit more because there because of the simplicity of this spell it is so commonly done and the thought process or the process behind the spell is where it's pretty simple like all you need is like a container that you that will hold fluid that will hold water i don't know why i said fluid and a piece of paper and something to write with and so let's just say for example you wanted to do this freezer jar spell on me because i was just saying some stuff i was spilling your tea right and so it's just like okay let me just stop miss velka over here bad mouthing me and you know you don't want to do anything to harm me you just want my, me to keep your name out your mouth right and so the concept behind this you would take a piece of paper and a pen write my name out write any de extra details that you would know about me like my date of birth or anything like that crumple up the paper put it in, in a container with water or a liquid i guess we're going to call it and then you put it in the freezer some people will edit this spell a little bit depending on what it is that they want to do because the baseline of this spell it's kind of like a binding right in its own sense it's it is like a binding if someone just wanted to have that baseline of just like getting me to stop saying their name spilling their tea right they would do that spell but if someone wanted to go the extra mile if they wanted to do a little bit more have a little bit stronger of a punch to this and have it be more than just like a binding and have it be potentially a little bit more harmful uh, then they would add other ingredients to it which i'm not really going to get into because for me personally i don't get it i'm not a fan of hexes i'm not a fan of cursing I said it before in other videos but i would much rather utilize my energy into manifesting something wonderful for me than just keeping my energy level levels to a vibration of love, right? I always try to view things from a place of love. And so if I'm going to sit down and do a ritual and spend money on a ritual, I'm going to be spending that money on something for myself and elevating myself, not putting energy into something else because treat my energy like it has monetary value. Most people just are not worth me investing a bunch of energy into them just to bind them, right? If they want to talk about me, have, that's free publicity, mama. But that's not this video, right? The reason why I wanted to talk about this spell actually is because it's so commonly done and it's such a gateway spell or curse people will perform this all the time without really thinking too much into it because it's so simple right and so people i've had people tell me how they are and they're proud of this <laughs> of how they'll brag about how they just have in their freezer just jars upon jars or containers upon containers with a bunch of people's names or maybe they even have like a separate freezer just a bunch of names in their house or in their garage and it is such a red flag for me you guys i want you to think about it like this if you guys are doing this kind of spell work in your house first and foremost this is not the kind of energy that you want to be sitting in your house even if you do like the proper shielding and cleansing and all of this if you're storing these curses into a freezer box you're basically just containing a bunch of negative energy or a bunch of just heavy energy into this freezer box in your house without there being any type of containment now some people will say and argue that it's contained in that freezer so that energy is not going to seep out or they have will have like their own preventative measures behind just containing this energy and while i'm not going to dismiss this because maybe they are onto something clearly if it's working for you it's working for you right but the, where my thinking is when i hear someone talk about how they have these freezer jar spells the potency of the spell itself is not in question it obviously works right otherwise it wouldn't be talked about and wouldn't be utilized for so many years my problem with this spell lies in the fact that you're just 
harboring a bunch of just like this type of heavy energy in a space and while maybe like yeah you'll argue like one or two jars is not that much but over time if you're just hosting this low vibrational energy or just this type of en heavy energy in the first place i'm not going to call it low vibrational energy if you're just hosting this type of energy for a long enough period it's going to seep into your energetic space you're going to be whole, like containing this energy in where you do your just normal practices carrying out your day-to-day -day lives and so while it may not immediately give you this type of effect or where you're noticing it's just like hey something's wrong here over time if you're finding that you're having like a lot of bad luck for example you're just like dealing with a bunch of constant heavy energy or you're finding that you have to cleanse more often i'm willing to bet that it's probably because you're hosting this type of energy inside your house normally when you're going to do this type of spell work when you're going to be doing anything along the lines of baneful magic or cursing or any type of black magic you don't want to do it in your living space it doesn't matter if you are going to be cleansing and grounding and shielding and all this this is just not the type of thing that you want to perform in your own living space so that's my main issue with this spell is that so many people are not thinking of the aftermath or the after effects of hosting this type of energy in your space you don't want to be hosting this energy once you completed your baneful magic once you completed your cursing and all that you want to be completely gone of that space you don't want it around you at all you want it completely away from your space and yeah it's in the freezer but newsflash energy is not going to be freezing in the freezer it's still there it's still existing right energy doesn't care about what temperature it is right whenever someone is doing reiki they're not going to say it's like oh wait two to three days since you live in alaska because it's colder there so the energy is not going to take as much effect to you as rapidly compared to a warmer climate does that make sense so i'm really not trying to downplay this spell at all there's definitely some potency to it but i only ask people to think about what spell think about how they're handling this and think about where it is they're going to be hosting this type of curse you can just really think about the type of energies that you are hosting now i'm not gonna just talk about this hex to talk about this curse without giving you guys some advice or how you could potentially edit this curse so it'd be more effective if you wanted to still utilize this curse but you don't obviously just have like a freezer that you can just stick it in that's not in your living space right the one way that comes to mind of how i would edit this curse for myself if i were to utilize this curse since i don't have like a random freezer out in the woods that i can just handle like all my cursing jars with if i were to have cursing jars i would put a grid inside the actual freezer itself and it doesn't have to be like a giant grid it could just even be like four tourmaline pieces on like the shelf that you are keeping your spell jars in just that and with that concept you're containing that energy behind those four tourmaline so like if you have a shelf you just putting a tourmaline on each of the corners of that freezer and then you're containing the jars in there and just thinking about it right now you actually could easily incorporate sigil magic into this as well for for your freezer right if you're having a freezer it's easily magnetic right so you could draw out sigils on pieces of paper and put it on your freezer with a magnet or you could even just draw on the actual freezer itself if it's your own freezer but yeah those are just a couple quick things that are that i can think of off the top of my head that i would incorporate if i were to utilize my own personal freezer for this type of spell and so if you guys do have any freezer jars spells curses whatever in your freezer right now and you haven't taken any type of preventative measure towards containing that energy those are just a couple of tips i would suggest for you guys to do to incorporate so you can just contain that energy better if you are still insistent on hosting this type of energy in your house and you don't want to think of different ways of performing a different type of curse or baneful magic outside of your house <laughs> but yeah that's all i have for this video i really hope it was helpful um it's actually one of my shorter videos but i think that this is a nice refreshing change for my channel actually but i love you guys so much if you do have you guys have any questions when it comes to spells or curses or anything like that please leave them in the comments below or send me an email i always leave my email in the link below in the description box rather below but yeah i love you guys so much and if you haven't heard it today i see you i hear you and i love you so much bye guys